A Palestinian-Israeli politician is appealing a court ruling barring her from running in next month's election. Last week, Knesset member Hanin Zoabi, seen here on the right, was disqualified for, quote, undermining Israel. That's because she was on board the flotilla that tried to breach Israel's blockade of Gaza in 2010. Israel's Supreme Court has four days to decide whether to revoke the ban. Well, earlier, Hanin Zawabi spoke with Al Jazeera. She told us the ban was the culmination of a long process of persecution. Threats, I, I would say hundreds of the threats by letters, by email, by phone calls. Also, to threat me to demonstrate in front of my uh, house. They have uh, disqualified me or uh, stripped me from uh, some parliamentarians' rights, like my diplo diplomatic passport. They have stripped me from my diplomatic passport a uh, few months after, uh, three months after uh, the uh, flotilla. Well, Jane Ferguson has been following the story in Jerusalem. The Supreme Court hearing didn't come to any concrete decision yet into Hanin Zaoubi's case. They do have to make a decision as to whether or not she will be disqualified or whether she can run in the 2013 elections by December 30th. So we are expecting an announcement on that within the coming days. Now, some background on this case is that she was, of course, famously involved in the Freedom Flotilla in May 2010. In Israel, amongst politicians across the Knesset, from left to right, it was widely condemned and seen as a very controversial move that anybody involved in Israeli politics would have been on that ship. She was actually on the very ship where nine Turkish activists were killed. And since then, her main opposition have actually tried to have criminal proceedings brought against her. They say that she has been involved in terrorism simply by being involved in the flotilla. They also say that she negates the Jewish identity of the state. And that, of course, opens up a wider debate about Palestinian Israelis, not only in Israel, but involved in politics here. And her party are saying that they're being discriminated against and that if she is disqualified, they themselves will actually boycott the vote. However, here in Jerusalem, most people don't believe that she will actually be disqualified. The attorney general here already threw out last year the criminal case against her. And most people believe that she won't be disqualified, but they're also saying nobody can really guess confidently what will happen in the coming days.